Hello everyone, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're going to check out Chord Gun. It's a Reaper script for inserting MIDI chords into your project. Let's check it out. So we can call up Chord Gun from the action list once it's installed. Uh, you can get it right inside of Repack. I think it's in the default install. Uh, so it's really easy. You probably already have it installed if you have Repack. But it's a pretty cool script. And we can audition chords. We can um, see all the chords that are available in a certain key and change the octaves, change the inversions, things like that. So uh, strap on the headphones. Let's check this out. So I'm going to set my chord, my scale to uh, D natural minor. And I'm going to put it up to octave three and first and in, in, uh, no inversion. And so we can go through here, we can click with the mouse to uh, try out different chords that, and different chord progressions in our scale. So first chord would be D minor, second is E diminished, third is an F, the fourth is a G minor, fifth is an A minor, the sixth is a B flat, and the seventh is a C. So um, we could just do a simple chord progression like one, or six, five, something like that. And we can also use the, the, our typing keyboard and the number keys to play those. So um, we can do one, four, six, five, right? And if we want a different chord for the, let's say, for the fourth position, instead of doing a G minor, we do a G sus four, we do one, Maybe we'll do that and then that. And we can change to a different inversion like that. Which, if you don't know inversions, it just flips the order, takes the, uh, the lowest note, brings it up to the top. So the lowest note in the chord is the middle chord. I also have a bass here, and if we're not using the chords, we can use um, the typing cues, um, and in each row, we've got a different octave. So Z would be the first chord, the, a D, um, in, in the lowest octave. So Z, A, and Q is the one. We've got uh, V, F, and R on R4, and so on. It's pretty simple once you start to use it. The other instrument I have here is some strings. Now, we don't really get a note off for these, so you do sometimes need this action, stop all notes from playing. There might be a keyboard shortcut for that, but I don't, I couldn't find it. How do we actually use this in a song? We're going to use Chord Gun to insert chords into MIDI items. So I've got on the track Expand A, I can double click to open it, and with this open, we can go through our chord progression. And I want these to be whole notes. Here, just you know, just a rough outline of what the chords should be and the order that they're in. So, so with chord gun focused, I'm going to use my typing keyboard. One, uh, four, six, five, and there's our chord progression. Now, if we want to go back to auditioning, we do have to close the MIDI item um, so that it doesn't start editing the MIDI item as we're auditioning. So if we don't like that chord, let's change that to an A minor. So we're just going to open this up and um, my cursor is at bar three. I want the A minor, uh, A minor seven there and it's replaced it. And if we want to, let's say have a, a 
two shorter notes there, we can go to the six and then to the seven and then back to the one. Sure. So we can take that idea and we can go to the next track. I just want to make sure that we are closing this each time. And so we go to the, the bass track and we can play that in here. So what was it? B, V, N, V, uh, I've already forgotten. <laughs> but anyways, we can we can just play that in pretty simply. So we're going to uh, insert a new MIDI item and maybe we want this on quarter notes instead. So we've got let's see. I think it's 1 1 or Z Z for those and then the 4 was a V. And then I went up to the, the five and then, yeah, two of those, two of those. All right. And for the third track, we'll do it with a inversion on that. Let's do second inversion but the same chords. And it will be, again, whole notes. So, one, four, six, and we'll switch to half notes, and uh, six, seven. Okay, and then let's try this out. Something went weird here, but what is that? Bar three. I think it's my fault. I think I, I didn't uh, change chords there. Yeah, that's right. I didn't do the right chord on bar three. That should have been a five. Let's do that. So yeah, user error can still happen, of course. Hopefully you can find this useful. One other cool thing about this is that with so many of these actions available in the main action list, you can actually run this from web remote. So you could set up Reaper WRB2 with the layout with these um, actions and actually run this uh, cord gun from an iPad or something. So that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have a link to this in the description of the video and in the blog post, uh, a link to the forum post where uh, you can, you know, ask for features or bug fixes and things like that. Um, I think it's a really cool, helpful tool. Um, something that I, uh, this is an area where I personally struggle with, with music theory. Um, you know, I've had years and years of learning music in school, you know, even in college, and just it never really sticks. And so having things like, you know, which notes are in that chord at a glance, just as a reference is really helpful. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.